I was throwing up every 45 minutes and just, I don't know, I was just gagging myself pretty much. And it didn't stop. Watching him over the course of 10 days losing 25 pounds, I'm driving behind the ambulance while it's raining, wondering, is my son ever going to get any better? Nick would soon spend most of last summer in a hospital bed, hooked up to feeding tubes, but without any answers. What he had, he had an unknown virus. So what was running through Nick's mind when he was lied up in bed all summer, unable to eat and unable to swing a bat? Just asking God like what he wanted, like what he was doing and how he wanted to use this. Summer wound down and Nick was still struggling when a family friend suggested a different kind of doctor, an upper cervical chiropractor. At first I thought, chiropractor, he's an upper cervical, why would I go there? But the doctor says the answer was simple. A misaligned bone in the neck was pressing against Nick's brainstem. The brainstem basically sends messages from the brain to the heart, the liver, the lungs, the kidneys, the arms, the legs. In his case, it was obviously interfering with the nerves that were going to his stomach, so it prevented his stomach from working the way it was intended. So Nick received an adjustment. And, I, and I'm telling you, within five minutes, we're laying in the back room. Nick says, Dad, I feel hungry. They say the adjustment helped Nick's body heal and recover from the mystery virus. He would slowly reintroduce food, and by spring, he was leading Charlotte Christian in RBIs. But most importantly, God used that event to, one, allow me to rely on him and just bring my family closer to God. It, Nick's faith has always been real strong. It's kind of crazy, but with me going in the hospital, it almost answered two prayers. So David Centendry, My Fox, Carolinas.